Hi guys. So, um, I can't believe I'm actually doing this again, another monthly update. Like, I seriously think I've just uploaded one, but I think because I just haven't really done any videos lately, uh, that's probably why I'm feeling like that. So, I'm really sorry that my channel is really dry at the moment. There's not much kind of going on. Um, I obviously um, haven't been buying an awful lot of K-pop for myself because Christmas is coming, which I love. I'm very excited. It's less than a month to go, so I'm like, yay! So rather than all my money going on K-pop, I obviously have to spend it on other people, which is really unreasonable to be honest with you. But hey ho! Um, the most important thing to to tell you guys is I'm still alive. I just I've just not been able to um, do any videos lately. Um, life stuff um it's been a pretty shitty uh couple of months so um yeah uh, i will try and upload more videos for you because i'm sure you guys you you know you've subscribed to me i have actually got over 2000 subscribers now it's literally just happened so thank you so much to all my new subscribers and to everyone who's subscribed who's been subscribed since the beginning however long you've been subscribed you've obviously subscribed because you like me and my channel and i'm really sorry if me and my channel are letting you down i will try and do some more videos i have lots of ideas i just haven't gotten around to kind of doing the videos so please bear with me um obviously if you've got any requests or anything like that you can leave them in here and, and i will try and get around doing them as soon as i can um between now and christmas there's really not going to be any unboxings um i literally um have a few k-pop albums to show you um uh, the only album i'll be unboxing between now and christmas will be bts obviously i've ordered both versions the blue and the peach of in the mood for love part two very very excited um so yes yeah. but uh yeah until then um it's gonna be a bit of a wait till christmas however i am a bit of a lucky duck for christmas i have a lot of albums coming um which i will talk about um in a little while i have a new phone as well so hopefully i won't have any issues with my camera and my video like stopping and glitching and stuff so uh the only thing that will let my videos down really will be me um or my cats so <laughs> uh, but yeah if i just quickly remind you um all the stuff that i got this month which really isn't that much however it's all important stuff so first of all fx for walls um they came back as a foursome um Lots of different versions. I got Amber's version. I don't have a bias in FX, so I'm particularly not particularly fast who I got, but I'm really happy that I got Amber because I love Amber and everything she stands for. So yay. I'm really, really happy they came out. The album was really good, but FX albums normally are, to be honest with you. Um as for the photo card, uh if, well if you've seen my unboxings you already know, but I got Luna. So yes, as I'm not not particularly fast, but yeah. Um, and then I also got Twice, the new girl group from JYP, um, which I'm really glad I really like these girls. The packaging is a bit rubbish because the photo book is a lot smaller than it should be, I think. You do get a lot of stuff with it though. We got this, this is like random. I keep this in my photo card thing because it just keeps falling out, so yeah. Um, and then you get three photo cards, so you get like a, like a subunit kind of thing with three members. Because there's a lot of members. And then you get a, a baby photo. Uh, I got Cheyang. And then you get a grown up photo of Cheyang as well. So, yeah. As I, said, I don't have a bias, so I'm not particularly fast who I got. So, yay. So, those are the ones that I've gotten. Um, along with, um, I have just gotten uh, Matrix BAP's long awaited comeback. So, I have the normal version. Um, which I'm very happy about. I'm going to pop in there. And then I got uh, my bias version drawn up, um, which is huge. It's so thick. It's full of glory. And yes, you get a nice little bias version thingy there. Um, inside, I had a couple of freebies from K Town for you. And I also got Dayhan's card in the normal version. So I really love the backs. Kind of makes me want to collect them, but I won't. But you know, um, so that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I got this month, um, I got a couple of photo cards. Um, 
So, when I got my Icon album, like most people, I got Chanu, which I'm really happy with because I love Chanu. I'm so glad that he's in Icon. He was my favourite in the programme. I love him. I really didn't think he, they, they were treating him properly until recently. So, um, yeah. But, that being said, he's not my bias and it took me a very, very long time to figure out who my bias was because they're all equally amazing and talented and beautiful. However, I have decided that Yoon Hong... Yoon, I'm tired. Yoon Hong is my bias. I'm really sorry if I just butchered that. Yo-Yo is my bias. I just call him Yo-Yo because it's a lot easier for me because I'm an idiot. But because he's my bias, I was really determined to get his photo cards. So I did. So, um, yay. I got his photo cards, which I'm really, really happy with. I paid about £12 for both of them. So I'm happy with that. Yoon Hong -y. Yeah. So, uh, I, I I think these photo cards are a bit thin. I wish they were fuller, they would fit in my photo cards a bit better, but they don't, so there we go. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but what I wanted to do, there's been a lot of comebacks and stuff, so I kind of wanted to do what I've done before. I've got this little thing going on here. I'm not quite sure if this is going to work, because this flipping thing is so old now, and it's like broken and like almost full. But I kind of wanted to, oh that works, just about. I kind of wanted to just mention a few things before I go. And then, if I remember, I'll give you the list of all the stuff. So, underneath all these post-its is a group that have come kind of come up recently that I just want to say how much I love. Um, so, number one, GOT7. Uh, <laughs> so, GOT7 came back with MAD, which I still don't have. However, it is on my Christmas list, so I will get it. Christmas. Um, they have got a winter edition thing which is quite expensive. I'm not really sure what that is so we shall see what that is first before I order it. Um, but I like their confession song, it's really cute. Um, but I want to just sit, wait and see what what's what. I've kind of just, I've become a little bit more patient these days so um, hopefully fingers crossed um, my patience will pay off and I'll order the right thing. Um, so yes, I really love GOT7, so I'm really, really happy. Um, number two, oh, EXO. Um, so EXO had a digital single release, Lightsaber, which if you've been with EXO since the trailers, since their teasers, you'll know it was kind of mentioned a little bit in the teasers. Well, not mentioned, it was played in it was one of the teasers. Um, so I was really glad to have the full um, one released. However, the MV is really disappointing. Like, the MV is beautiful. I mean, I love the fact that it's Kai, Sehun, and Bakken. I'm, I'm assuming that the other members aren't there, maybe, for... Um, a, because they're busy doing other stuff. I'm not quite sure, because it's not a proper, like, comeback. But it's so short. I don't understand why it's just like... It's almost like a Japanese short version video. Anyway, I don't really understand it. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And Kai and Sehun and Bakken just look beautiful. And I really love this song. So, um... Yeah, I'm just hoping they get a nice comeback. For me, like being Christmas as well, when I want to put Christmas music on, my my go straight to Miracle in December. That album is just so beautiful and I would really love them to do that again. But oh, I don't know. I'm not sure they will. But I really love um, that EXO came back with Lightsaber. It's really cool, like crossing with um, Star Wars. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have number three, which is hidden here, which actually says Vix but number eight is hiding it. Um, so Vix came back with Chained Up, which it was brilliant. It's a really good album. I haven't got it yet, but it is on my Christmas list. Um, so I haven't had it posted yet, but it is on order. So hopefully I will have it for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I love Vix anyway. So I really love the concept as well. So I'm really excited. I haven't seen any unboxings. I'm trying to be patient, but my patience is wearing thin. <laughs> Less than a month to go to Christmas. Come on, Kate, you can do it. But yeah, I really love it. Uh, number four is being... <laughs> there we go. I didn't do this particularly well. B.A.P. came back with Matrix, obviously, because I have two versions. Um, I have got Stella's version coming as well for Christmas. But I'm really happy with B.A.P. Um, sorted their differences out with T.S. I hope they have anyway, fingers crossed. I'm sure B.A.P. would not go back to T.S. Unless they were absolutely confident that they that things were going to be different. So, really happy they're back. They're so grown up. 18 months has gone by so quickly. Or, well, a year's gone by so quickly. 
So, yeah, I'm really, really happy they're back. Um, they're number five, CL. Hello, bitches. Um, so, I really love the song, and I love the MV. It's very not K-pop. It's very um, American, and I guess I'm a bit confused. I'm not quite... It's the sort of thing I would think she would maybe release for her American um, sort of debut so I'm not really quite sure what's going on I was a bit excited thinking it was 21's comeback but you know CL having another solo song is fine I really like the song it's really catchy and the video is really cool the thing about CL is that she's her own person she's an individual and she does what she wants to do and she does it brilliantly um, so I, I love the video a lot of people may not like it but if you listen to the song on its own and not watch the video Fall in love with the song and then maybe go back to the video and see how, how much it, it suits it, I suppose. But I love CL because 21 is like my bias group along with Girls' Generation anyway, so yeah. Uh, at number six, <coughs> I'm going to cough. <coughs> BTS are coming back! Um, uh, yeah, BTS are coming back. Obviously I am a VIP and uh, Big Bang is my number one bias group, but I have two second bias groups and... Um, yeah, BCS are like my, one of my second bias groups, so I'm super, super excited. I have pre-ordered both versions, the blue and the peach, from K-Town for you, as I normally do. It will be the only unboxing between now and Christmas. Um, so far, I'm very, very excited. It looks amazing. There's lots of little different teasers and stuff, so I'm just waiting for them to drop the full MVs and everything like that. So, yay! Bang pan! Woo and then, number seven... Icon. So when they released Welcome Back, they released My Type first, and I really liked My Type, but it didn't quite sound right. And the album dropped, Rhythm Tower is really awesome. Um, the album didn't quite feel like the icon I was expecting. However, with Anthem and um, Apology, um, I feel like my, um, my love is renewed. Uh, I love both songs. Um, Anthem is amazing, it's playing in the background, and I really like that Bobby and B.I. got to do a collaboration together. I thought it was a really, really good idea. But Apology is just incredible, like, like, it's just the most, it's how I would expect them to sound. Janae's voice is just perfect for the song. All the, all the other guys get a great deal on Dong Hyuk's voice and Yo Yo's voice and Chano, even Chano gets a, a core. Oh my god! And Chin Wan, and it just is perfect and one of my most favourite songs of the year. I absolutely adore it. Oh, uh, my music stopped. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> I love it. I love the whole feel of the song. Oh, it's just perfect and um, has definitely restored my faith. I'm really excited for like the second half of their album and hope that it has that kind of more kind of different vibe. Um, but I love Icon and I love all the videos that they upload, all the dance practices and all the behind the scenes stuff. Um, a bit obsessive I have to say. Um, so yes, very very excited for Icon. And then the last thing to talk about before we go, because this is a really long video, TTS. Kate is so it's coming back with a Christmas album. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, very excited for this. Very excited. So um, I don't really know much about it, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and I will obviously get it. So this is pretty much it. I can't really talk too much about it because I don't really know. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, and I'm also very aware that this video is very long, so I do apologise. Um, I have got a lot of um, albums coming for Christmas. But I am going to do that in a separate video, which will probably be the next video that you see. So until then, ciao.